Anytime a boat wins the NMMA Innovation Award, you know it's going to make waves. The Island Packet SP Cruiser, winner of the prestigious award in its introduction a few years ago, has gone on to redefine the motor sailor category. We found out how on Lake Union in Seattle, Washington. Thomas Egger of Signature Yachts took us out on a beautiful Pacific Northwest summer day. Thomas then proceeded to show us the SP Cruiser's performance under power. The 110 horsepower Yanmar easily pushes the boat to a hull speed of 8.5 knots. Very quietly, I might add. She can do nine knots with the pedal of the metal, but at a more economical cruising speed, has a range of 1,000 miles. As you can see, the 360 degree view from the deckhouse helm is clear and unobstructed. This warm and protected cabin has been a big hit with Northwest sailors, not to mention Northeast and Great Lakes sailors too. However, like just about everyone else who looks at the boat, we really wanted to know how she performed under sail. Beyond the instantly recognizable ivory gel coat, molded in bowsprit, and full foil keel, Bob Johnson, Island Packet's founder and naval architect, designed the sailing rig to be simple and easy to handle. The SP Cruiser features the familiar Hoyt jib boom and in-mast furling main. All control lines are led to the aft cockpit and feature high quality hardware but the innovative part is in the cockpit, where an electric winch and power sheet controls are located. The same sheet switches are at the helm, allowing one to trim the boat without leaving the chair. With Captain Day crewing, we unfurled the sails in about 11 knots of wind. Thomas said he has single-handed an SP cruiser in over 20 knots of wind and felt in total control under sail. So today was a good test of the boat's ability to move in lighter conditions. Once trimmed in on a close reach, we achieved decent speeds of 4.5 to 5 knots. Needless to say, we were impressed, although it would have been more fun sailing with Thomas in those 20 knot winds. We did get some great footage of an SP cruiser sailing in somewhat better conditions last year on San Francisco Bay. On this sail, she comfortably made over 6 knots in 12 to 14 knots of wind. Back in Seattle, we furled the sails and headed for the marina so we could explore the rest of the boat. Now, I'm not going to say the SB Cruiser is a stunningly beautiful boat, but there is an unmistakable beauty in her purposeful design. One of the more interesting features is the forward cockpit, a great place to relax on an easy sail. And with some nice cushions and a table, it's a fine spot to entertain while at the dock or on the hook. Boarding is made easy through the molded in swim platform and transom door. In addition to the inside helm station, the deck house features a raised L shaped dinette providing everyone seated with exceptional 360-degree view. Both captain's chairs swiveled to face the expandable table. From the raised settee and helm, three short steps lead down into the midships part of the boat. The large, well-apportioned galley runs the length of the port side and features a gimbaled propane stove and oven, a microwave, and a ton of storage and counter space. A double stainless sink sits on the boat's center line and large separate refrigerator and freezer compartments with gas struts are very easy to access. Just aft of the sinks is the electric panel with room for electronics below, which is conveniently located next to the starboard nav desk. From the galley, with its abundant storage, we move forward into the large master stateroom. This owner's cabin features large cedar-lined hanging lockers port and starboard, two more cabinets and a walk-around pedestal berth. As with all island packets, there is great light and ventilation with four opening port lights, an overhead hatch, and two door aid mounts. The base of the berth has more storage under gas struts. From the berth, you can see the hanging lockers and cabinets and the private entrance into the boat's single head. The head is divided into a large separate shower with seat and the toilet and vanity. The boat's second stateroom is just after the nav desk and features another large hanging locker with two single berth. Great for kids, guests, and occasional storage. However, under the deck house sole, and with the steps removed, you have access to what the Signature Yachts crew refers to as the garage. Here you have a couple of engine hatches. Full access is in the second stateroom. Lots of room to store gear and easy access to more of the boat systems. Again, per usual with Bob Johnson's design, there is easy access to all vital systems and more storage in every nook and cranny. Intelligent design and engineering, quality gear and hardware, and attention to detail have made the SP Cruiser the logical choice for many sailors 
looking for all weather capabilities. As a motor sailor, she has also become a preferred intermediate transition from sailboat owner to trawler owner. After all, if you can motor at trawler speeds and motor sail for extended range and comfort and still sail at decent cruising speeds, why not? The SP Cruiser really is the best of both worlds and I imagine other manufacturers might follow Island Packet's lead. Obviously, there's a lot more to the innovative SP Cruiser than we can fit into a television review. You'll find all the specs and information you need, plus written reviews and testimonials on the Island Packet website at IPY.com.